What's up everyone? Welcome back to my 4 star school YouTube channel. In today's lesson, we are going to learn GetX services and GetView in GetX package. And this is our 7 video talking about the GetX package. So if you are new to my channel, feel free to reach out to my channel page and you will find Flutter UI from scratch tutorial. Flutter GetX tutorial, Flutter tutorial, and Dart programming language tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thumb up my content, and open a notification so you won't miss out the latest Flutter tutorial. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Let's open our Visual Studio Code and Android Emulator. Uh, as you see, here I have wrote the code before today's lesson which is under this GetX service and here we have a service example.dart service view.dart and setting service.dart so let's look into this uh, service example so the service example just a, a normal class that extends the stateless widget inside it is build method it returns the example uh, which wrapped by this get material app Let's look into the server's view.dart. So in the server's view.dart, uh, we have uh, this scaffold widget, and we have our app bar, have this get service as it is title shown on the top of our screen. And then we have uh, the text widget in the center of the screen, indicate how many times we press this button. And we have this increased button which can increase our counter. The last one will be the setting servers.dart and this will be the most important one we're going to talk in today's lesson uh, which extends the GetX service. So as I mentioned before, the GetX service will be a class that will exist the entire application lifecycle. So as long as you uh, initialize this uh, setting service and you are not going to remove from your memory. Let's look into the mind map. So the GetX service, like uh, the normal class, have the life cycle on init, on ready, and on close. So you just create your custom class that extends the GetX service. So for example, you have your API service, uh, which want to uh, lie throughout the entire application and also you have this storage service the cache service and you don't want to delete those services until you close your application since the GetX state management uh, won't be able to remove the GetX service however we could manually uh, remove this uh, service by call this get.reset method so let's a look into the code example so back to the visual studio code as you see we have our setting service right and we have this initial method going to uh, read the data from our local storage so in today's uh, example i'm going to use another package uh, which is a shared preference it's an alternative for the get storage we use in our last uh, a video and as you see uh, this is a shared preference package which have a uh, 4300 likes on pubdev so back to today's code and you see I using this late keyword and I going to initialize this uh, instance of our shared preferences in this in it method right and I going to use uh, this uh, await keyword to wait the instance then I'm going to make these uh, in it method asynchronized uh, you will return the future of our current instance which is this uh, setting service so we're going to call this method before I run our application so let's back to the main.dart file as you see and before I run my application first i'm going to call this method uh, which is service in each service right 
and it's a, a synchronized uh, method uh, so I return this future void and I'm going to await for uh, initialize our service so inside this initial service method we're going to print tau uh, starting service and also service started before and end of initialize our setting server as you see I using this put synchronized uh, a method to a uh, synchronized put our survey into the memory as you see here I call the setting survey in it method uh, which would be uh, this method and we're going to initialize our share preferences and we can get the value from our local storage and we set to the countable variable as you see here it will show how many times I have pressed uh, for this button so back to main.dar uh, after we finish getting the, this data and we run this application uh, what's more um, another important uh, thing I want to mention is in line 16 you're going to make sure uh, you widget flutter binding initialized before you custom inject your uh, dependence into this flutter app so we need to call this line of code before you initialize your setting service or any kind of service right let's restart our application and you're going to uh, look at this console very careful as you see I have a restart my application so first I going to see this starting service right and we are now run this application so first we're going to run this uh, line 17 and we see this uh, starting service here and then we're going to call this setting service dot in it and which is uh, this method and we have uh, this line of uh, debug print on our console so the setting servers initialized the share preferences and also share preferences is ready that means uh, we have uh, already initialized our share preferences so our counter will have uh, this line right show on the screen okay so and then you will set the service started which is line uh, 26 okay so basically you can put uh, any servers right for example you can like have your get storage and your hive your share preference uh, any kind of a uh, synchronized um, function so here I'm going to uh, increase our counter for example I increase to uh, 12 so I price uh, three times and I'm going to restart our application so you're going to see and you will show I have uh, 12 times right after we finish those initialized dependence okay you see it doesn't change so maybe I need to uh, stop this application and I run again so you can see it clearly so when I open my application again it will still show the number 12 okay so let's see so we have this initial value would be a zero but we're going to load it from our share preferences so you're going to see it's 12 and it's not zero so for the first time okay you see okay that's basically how you can use this get service in your flutter app so let's back to the mind map so the next thing i'm going to talk is this get view so get view which means uh, it's a stateless widget have this getter controller for registered controller so let's back to our Visual Studio Code and here I'm going to change this service view.dart because you see uh, before uh, this build method I manually find our controller 
right, this line of code. So suppose you have a uh, many uh, dart file. Each one you're going to file controller. Another way is you using this get view. So for example, you extend the get view and you specify the controller you're going to use. Then you can actually like comment out this line of code. Right. So it basically do the same thing. So we're going to save our application. Okay, pull it out of the console and going to restart it. It won't broke the application. So basically it just uh, have the getter method to get this controller for you. So you just need to specify what kind of controller you are using. Right, for example, here we're using this setting service. So we could increase this counter. That's all for today's lesson. Uh, it will be a short video talking about get a service and get view. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, some online content, and open the notification so you won't miss out the latest Flutter tutorial. Okay, thanks for watching. I will see you in next video.